Tinkercad tip. Hey, welcome back. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to do these inside and outside bevels on cylinders. So in this video, let's do inside and outside radius. So let's take these three here. Let's move these the heck out of the way. There we go. And let me show you an example of what I'm going to be making here. Here's a cylinder with an inside and an outside radius. Here's one that has an inside radius and this one just an outside radius. So let me show you how I go about making those. Let's again go ahead and grab those. Let's move those out of the way. Let's grab three fresh cylinders here and duplicate those. Let's bring them forward. Let's move these back out of the way. All right, in order to do this, I'm going to use this torus shape here. And that's over here on the shapes menu, right down here. Torus, T-O-R-U-S. And there are parameters that you want to use with this. Now, my cylinder here is 60 millimeters, and the walls are two and a half millimeters thick. So with the torus here, we want the tube to be two and a half. That's what designates the size of the tube itself. And the radius that's defined here is the distance from the middle of one side to the middle of the other. So in order to make this 60 millimeters like it is, my radius has to be 27.5. I'm also going to increase the number of sides and the number of steps to make this as smooth as possible. But you'll notice here that there's still a lot of flat sides. So what we're going to do to smooth this out is a little bit of wave duplication that we've done in other videos. I have this selected. I'm going to click Duplicate. I'm going to click on the rotation over here. And I'm going to put in one degree. And I'm just going to continue hitting Control D a few times, probably about 15 times. I'm going to then select all of those and I'm going to group them together. Once it's grouped together, you'll notice that it looks a lot more smooth than it did before. All right, let's apply that one to this cylinder over here. But before we do that, let's make a duplicate of it. We're going to want to use this. So let's bring this over here. Let's then use our work plane tool. We'll zoom in here and we'll put it on the top edge of this cylinder here. And while our torus down here is selected, we're going to hit D to drop it to the work plane. Click work plane again, put it back out here. Our torus is still selected. Let's shift select this cylinder. We'll do an alignment to that cylinder. We'll click there and there. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, let's drop that down into the cylinder. Our torus here should be five millimeters tall. So I wanna move that halfway down. So in our snap grid here, I'm set to 0.5 millimeters. While the torus is selected, I'm gonna hold the control key and click the down cursor. One, two, three, four, five. That should be halfway down. We'll select those two objects and group them together. Once grouped, they'll look like this, with both a radius on the inside and the outside. Let's do our next one, but on this one, let's try to do an inside radius only, and we're gonna do that in a little bit different way. We're gonna have to use sort of a cookie cutter approach. Let's move our torus here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring out a cylinder I'm going to increase the number of sides to make it smooth. Now I want this to be, um, as far as the, the size, to be from the midpoint here to the midpoint here. So this is 60 millimeters and our walls are two and a half. So I want to make this, if I hold shift here, I'm going to make that 55. We can bring this down a bit. Bring that over here. Let's come back to our torus. Let's make another duplicate. We'll shift nudge that over. Let's turn it into a hole. 
All right, let's make sure these are both dropped to the work plane. So we select that, hit D, select that, hit D. All right, let's shift select our torus here. Let's align these two together on this cylinder. That direction, that direction. Now we want to bring this cylinder up half of the size of the, or half of the height of that torus. So again, we're going to hold control and being at half a millimeter on the snap grid, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's select the both of those, group those together. There we go. It looks like that now. Let's change that into a whole object. There we go. Do like we did before. Let's use the work plane tool on the top of our cylinder. While our new object is selected, we'll hit D to drop it to the work plane. Put the work plane back out there. Shift select our cylinder. We'll align to the cylinder that direction, that direction. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's select that whole object only. And we'll go down one, two, three, four, five. There we go. We'll then shift select our yellow cylinder there. Let's group those together. And there we go. We have the inside radius only. All right, let's do something similar for this one over here with just an outside, but we've got an extra step. Let's bring out our cylinder again. Increase the number of sides here. Let's make that 55 again. We're gonna click on that, shift click here. 55, let's bring it down a little bit. Let's turn that into a whole object. There we go, let's bring out a box now. Let's bring that out here. Let's shift click on the corner. Let's make this 70, we'll bring it down a little bit. Let's come over here to our cylinder. Let's raise it up above that one. We'll shift select our box. We'll align those two together. This direction, this direction. Very good, let's combine the two of those together. There we go. Let's bring out another copy of our torus here. We'll duplicate that. We'll drag that out. We'll turn it into a hole. There we go. Hit D to drop it to the work plane. Click that, D to the work plane. Now let's align these two together. We'll align to this. We'll click here. We'll click here. Now again, we gotta raise this box up. So two and a half millimeters. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to select the both of those, group those together. There we go. Once that's rendered, let's select on that. Let's turn it into a hole. And you can sort of see that radius that we have down there. Let's do like we did before. Work plane tool on the top of our cylinder there. The box is selected. D to drop to the work plane. Put the work plane back. Let's spin around here. Select our cylinder. We'll align. To that cylinder that direction go well, this direction we're going to zoom in here real quick and we're going to start going down with that one two three four five there we go well, let's select the both of those group those together and there you go once those are rendered you can see we have now an outside radius so there you have it. There's a pretty simple way, I guess, to do inside, outside radiuses on cylinders. Like, follow, and share. Share, share, share. It's good for the algorithm. And thanks for watching.